in this lesson we will learn with you number systems. We will discuss today why we need to understand different number systems. We will learn what binary, octal and hexadecimal number systems are. And we will learn how we can use binary, octal and hexadecimal literals in Java source code. Let's start. Before we jump to binary number system discussion, let's try to understand why do we need to know number systems. The human language consists of words and characters. This type of data is not suitable for computers. When we enter data, the data is converted into electronic pulse. Each pulse is identified as code and the code is converted into numeric format. It gives each number, character and symbol a numeric value number that a computer understands. One of the skills which is useful to programmers is understanding of relationship between number bases. You won't use binary, octal or hexadecimal format on daily basis, but this is important part of your general education as software engineer. Because sometimes in GDK in source code you will find hexadecimal literals, and you need to be prepared to understand the source code. I will try to explain to you different number systems with examples as easy as possible. Hope examples will help you to understand the topic. Let's start from binary number system. Binary number system radix is 2. Binary digits can only be 0 or 1. Let's take a look at this binary number. I also identified that this number has base 2. As an exercise, let's convert this binary number into decimal format, which we are all used to. To convert to decimal format, let's split these digits like this. We have ranks now, which are started from 0 and from the right to left. In each rank you have to do following calculations. Multiply the number in each rank by base of number system in the power of rank. For example, let's start from left to right. 1 is the number here. Let's multiply 1 by base of the number system, which is 2 as we discussed, in the power of the rank, which is 3 in this case. So it will be 1 multiplied by 8. After we are done with similar calculations for each rank, let's add these numbers together. Here we have 8 plus 0, plus 2, plus 1. So this number in binary format equals to 11 in decimal format. Does it make sense now? Octal number system. Octal number system radix is 8. Notice how in each of these number systems the number of digits contained within the system is name of the system. Base 2 has 2 digits. Base 8 has 8 digits, and so on. Just remember that each system starts counting with 0. So let's convert now this number with base 8 to decimal format. The same algorithm. Let's draw lines to see ranks. Starting from left, we have 7 multiplied by base of number system, which is 8, in the power of rank, and so on. Let's add these numbers together. Here it is. We converted octal number to decimal. You can use online converters to verify. Hexadecimal number system has radix 16. And 16 numbers from 0 to 9. And after that we are using letters. A, B, C, D, E, F. Which are according to decimal number systems. Equals to 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 respectively. Let's convert this hexadecimal number to decimal. We have base 16. And calculations are pretty straightforward for you. Now let's have a look how we can write binary, octal and hexadecimal literals in Java. So everything is easy here. Binary, octal and hexadecimal integer literals have different prefixes. Let's write here integer in decimal format. int dec equals 152. This is a decimal format. If you want to write integer in binary format, just use special prefix. int bin equals 0 b 100 
11, 3 zeros. Octal numbers started with zero prefix like this. int oct equals 0, 230. And hexadecimal number started with 0x prefix. int hex equals 0x98. You can use letters here if you want to express another value. Let's print all these numbers to console in decimal format. These variables represent the same number in decimal format. Let's recap what we have learned today. In this lesson we have learned what number systems are, we know how to convert from binary, octal and hexadecimal systems to decimal. We know how to use binary, octal and hexadecimal literals in Java. And now your homework. Hope it will be easy and fun for you. Just try to find out what decimal number is encoded in hexadecimal name of rock band ACDC.